Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is helping me get this body back and forth. The scripture comes from Ezekiel 27 and 26. Your oarsmen take you out of the high seas, but to the east wind will break you to pieces. Far out at sea, your wealth and merchandise and wares, your mariners, sailors, and shipwrights, your merchants, and all your soldiers, and everyone else on board will sink into the heart of the sea on the day of your shipwreck. Oh, baby, go and say for somebody that you have been in a position of limbo, and you've been in a position of limbo because you have been allowing somebody else to be your rock. And I just feel like God is like, I'm your rock. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it can be hard because, you know, when you fall in love with someone, you are you, you know what I'm saying? When you start a job, you know, you start a new job and you are dependent on that check. Or when you have been at a job for years, you're dependent on that check. So if something happened, you will feel lost. And I feel like for somebody that's like, you know, you, you got married, you were married for a while, you got used to it, you were dependent on that. And now that you don't have it, you're like, what am I going to do? Like, I just feel like this is somebody you're like, what am I going to do? God said, just as he takes care of everything, the birds in the sky, all the creatures of the land, and he makes sure everybody eat. So why in the world do you think that you would not receive whatever it is that you need, even, you know, no matter what it is. And I feel like this is somebody, it's a situation where, you know, you just, you, you, I just feel like it's one thing to feel hurt. And it's another thing to turn that hurt and throw it towards God. Because, you know, when it comes down to it, everybody has free will. It is a possibility that that job could have worked out for you. And it is a possibility that relationship could have worked out. But if that person choose they don't want to be with you, they're going to reject you. Regardless to if they outright say straight to your face, I don't want to be with you. Please leave me alone. Or if they do little stuff to try to make you, you know what I'm saying, feel unwelcome, unloved, and leave. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. And I, I and it's like, you know, to me personally, I know I am not the most beautiful woman in the world. I know that I am not, um, that my shape isn't perfect. And I got a little pudgy tummy. And you know what I'm saying? I got all this. But that don't mean, like, it's a situation to where I am trying to capture someone and, you know what I'm saying, force them to be in a relationship with me. And, you know what I'm saying, even when it comes down to it, I know I have a lot of stuff going on as far as my physical opponents, as far as um, what I know, okay, um, and college and all of that. But that doesn't mean that, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be trying to force myself to be in a position at a, a company or a job that, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't fit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not good at it. I don't know what I'm doing. And you know what I'm saying? I just feel like when it come down to it, God said you didn't do nothing wrong. You didn't lie on your job application and try to force them to hire you. You wasn't trying to make yourself or present yourself to be something that you're not. You wasn't trying to, like, I just feel like for somebody you feel as though, that was your everything. And God is saying, just because it's gone don't mean you're going to be lost by yourself. That's idolatry now. It's idolatry to believe that just because you don't have that woman on your arm no more, that everything going to fall apart. As long as you didn't do no wrong. Now, if you did wrong, you know what I'm saying? To each his own. What you dish out is what you receive. If you was going around giving love, then that's what you're going to receive. You're going to be good. You're going to be fine. And, you know, if you was going around and you was causing pain and you was causing heartache, you was trying to hurt, then you, you know what I'm saying? You can't be upset. 
when you feel that hurt, when you feel that heartache, when you feel that pain. And everybody heartache and pain ain't the same. It's not always a situation where somebody is in love. But a lot of times from messages I have received over the years, a lot of times when somebody do something like uh, that thug, when somebody decides that they gonna hurt somebody on purpose and they just, you know, gonna either leave them dry or, you know what I'm saying, force them to leave them, baby, they end up receiving what they gave out. One, two, they end up partying a little bit and then realizing that they heart can't even beat correctly without the person being next to them. Or three, God's judgment is on some other stuff and he's not playing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been people that like completely destroy, like complete destruction following a relationship where they did somebody wrong and it has been people that had a complete come up following a relationship where somebody tried to destroy them or did or did destroy them not tried did you know what i'm saying and you know like i just feel like for whoever this is for god is saying you know some of y'all you trying to hold on to something that is literally trying to take you out and you trying to hold on to it. You like, I just feel like it's somebody you trying to do like this. And you really trying to hold on. And you like, no, don't, no, 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 no. God said the very same um, thing that you trying to hold on to and pour all your love into and give, you know what I'm saying? It's trying to push you away. And when you in that kind of position, like you hurting yourself. You can't, and you know, I'm just being reminded of um, when me and my ex, before we decided to call it quits and you know what I'm saying, and go ahead and file, it, it was just like, it felt like, it almost felt like everything was falling apart. Because I was so badly trying to make the marriage work. I wanted it to work. So it felt like everything was falling apart because I wanted so badly for it to work. And I really was doing, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to work hard, but simultaneously I can't work because I'm too worried about what's going on. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm distracted by this, distracted by that. I'm being gaslit about this. I'm being, you know what I'm saying? Made to feel guilty. And like, it's just so much going on. I was so stressed out. And then I finally thought to myself, this ain't even worth it no more. Ain't no happiness here what for what like what am i doing being attached to someone when i cry more than i smile you know what i'm saying and like you know just like typical things that just i just couldn't deal with it no more i couldn't i couldn't and i know that i have my own ways I know I have um, um, picky in nature and I have like, you know what I'm saying? Because me personally, I don't like my person being friends with somebody of the opposite of the opposite sex. I don't. I can get over it. It's not a situation. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be ugly. I ain't going to be mean. I ain't going to be nasty. I ain't going to start no fights and no arguments with nobody. But I can't stay. Um, that's just, I, I don't know. I, I just that just rubs me the wrong way you know what i'm saying even though i know it's possible but at the same time it's just like to me once you're with a relationship you in a relationship because too many times i know for from a uh, personal experience do somebody that been friends for a long time and they the opposite sex and they both been having a crush on each other and they you know what i'm saying if that's the case y'all go ahead and do what y'all gonna do and leave me out of it now leave me in my heart out of y'all mess i don't have time for that because you know what i'm saying me personally you know what i'm saying i don't want to get myself to a point to where i'm so in love with somebody that you know what i'm saying stuff like that make you want to hurt somebody it'll make you want to hurt somebody Especially in a situation like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I I just... But I just feel like... And that's for somebody. For somebody, you don't even realize that if you keep on holding on to this person on down the road, they ain't gonna do nothing but break your heart. And then on top of it, it's gonna be with somebody that they told you was just a friend. That they probably mess around with right now. 
while you crying they laid up with this person while you crying they flirting while you crying they complaining about you while they making you cry they they complaining that you're crying so much and you're being childish you're acting like a big old baby meanwhile they are the reason that you cry a simple you know like i just feel like sometimes it gets to a point to where a simple apology could fix something and somebody hates you so much that they would rather hear you cry like i just feel like if it gets to that kind of extent when you in a relationship with somebody well they would rather you be in hurt agony and distress and them not be able to have any peace they will rather be in a position to where they can't find no peace because you in distress and then to just go ahead you know what i'm saying especially if it's a simple task or it's something simple or something you know like something silly i just felt like i just feel like god is saying that you know and i know y'all know what i'm talking about I know for the, the, my ladies, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. How some men, like, you know, I was just watching a video about how men were complaining about how women will check out of a marriage. And when a woman checks out, she checks out emotion. Men do the same thing. But see, the thing about them is they do both. It's emotionally, it's physically, and on top of all of that, it's typically without cause. It's not anything that you did wrong. It's because they have found somebody that didn't capture their attention. And now they don't care about you no more. And they're not in love with you no more. And they're not, you know what I'm saying? So they don't care about your feelings because all they worried is about such and such feelings. And they don't care if you ain't trying to give them no loving tonight because they worried about such and such giving them loving. They don't go, they don't want yours no way. They don't care if you ain't trying to lay with them. They want to. They don't want to lay with you no way. You know what I'm saying? They don't care if you don't want to talk to them. They don't want to talk to you no way. They they would prefer for you to get mad and leave so they can call somebody over. You know what I'm saying? At that point, you might as well leave and not come back. You know what I'm saying? Why play? Why? Like I just feel like God is saying for somebody, you got you don't even see it, but why play? They might as well be with who they want to be with and stop playing with you. Because I know me personally, I don't like it. Anytime I, if I, anytime I see somebody doing this kind of stuff right here, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? I like it, and I, I'm, I'm being reminded of when I was talking about in a message a little while ago about how some people get to the point where they hate somebody to such an extent that they married to, that they got kids with, that they don't even want to hear them breathe. That's not good that is not love and you know what i'm saying you don't need to be around nobody like that you don't need to be around nobody that want to fight you over something so silly so stupid uh, somebody that want to fight you over a little small stuff like i just feel like god is saying when you get to a point to where you feel like without such and such everything gonna fall apart oh but i already paid the rent oh but i already did this oh but i put so much into and i did and god said forget all of that that's idol tree 13 13 as i say that god said that's idol tree he don't want you idolizing nobody but him he is a jealous god and god said that if you carry on thinking that you will not be able to be okay without that job or that person even if it is intended for you you're not gonna be treated right because you know what i'm saying a lot of times so like we don't even realize sometimes that we'll be you know when you are in a position where you care about somebody more than they care about you you just give 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 and they complain you giving them one thousand percent over you're not even just not just 100 a thousand percent and then they will complain about the thousand percent that you give them and say that it's not sparkly enough. You didn't put enough glitter on it. And why didn't you oil it up before you gave it to them? Why didn't you, you know what I'm saying? You should have sprayed some perfume on it before you gave it to them. And it's like, dang. Go ahead and say, like, you know, I just feel like it'll get you to a point to where you are going overtime trying to please them. Meanwhile, they not even trying to please. They don't even care to please you. What about your complaints? 
What about the things you don't like? What about the fact that you don't like that your coworker is following you around all the time? But they steady complaining about what you got going on. You know, I just feel like God is saying, if it gets to that kind of extent, go ahead. Maybe it's another job that God got for you. For some of y'all, it's another person and another job, another place, another whatever that God got for you. But you can't get to it because you keep thinking that you won't be able to make it without that. And for some of you, if you would stop chasing after the job, chasing, kissing up to the boss, and you know what I'm saying, trying to be everybody's best friend, and you know, trying to make sure you don't step on nobody's toes, and you know what I'm saying, and you ain't telling them nothing that you don't like, and you're not telling them this, you're not telling them that, and then you got to even think about this, you got to be careful doing that, because what if 10 years down the line, you get to a point to where your boiling point has been reached, you can't take it no more, and all the complaints that you have been pushing back, and saying it's okay it's okay meanwhile they complaining about you and you saying it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay boom i just felt like god said you know when you building a relationship with somebody regardless if it's a job relationship a friendship uh or an actual loving you know like um spouse spousal relationship you have to put down whatever guidelines you have and I just felt like this is somebody you have just been listening to somebody else and what they want. And you haven't opened your mouth and said what you want. And in some cases, what you want and what they want is clashing. And instead of you saying this, you are kind of just like, you know what? Maybe I can get over that. And maybe I can go ahead and I can let that go. And you know what? I can, you know, I can do, I can do that. I can, I can ignore that. And I can act like that didn't happen. And I can act like that ain't so. And I can act like this and I can act like that. And God is saying like all the while you sitting up here running yourself rugged over somebody that ain't even a 5% for you. Somebody that won't even give you a 20%. Like, I just feel, God said, won't even give you 10. Like, why in the world? Like, you, and, and it's just, that's not fair to you. And see, God said he will punish you. And it's not going to be in a, in a way that you're thinking, where it's like, he's going to spank you because you got, you were, you you know, you were hanging out with the wrong kids today. Them kids was doing it. You ain't do nothing. You getting in trouble too. No, it's not that kind of situation. God said you will end up, in a position to where you will end up being hurt. You will end up being troubled. You will end up receiving the wrath of God and the wrath of God that you will receive. It's not going to be that wrath where, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be the kind of wrath where you like get hurt, like physically, but it could be the kind of wrath where, or some of y'all, it could be, it could be that God is trying to take you away from somebody that is abusive and you keep on trying to be with this person and God is trying to show you they abusive. And I feel like, you know, it is one thing when somebody is not that they abusive and it's just a situation where somebody has made them so angry because they did this or they did that this happened that happened and now they have become abusive and somebody that is abusive over nothing that will beat you up just because you ate they fry that will you know what i'm saying drag you just for stepping on a shoe somebody you know what i'm saying that will take you up out of here over somebody else's actions over somebody looking at you or you you know what i'm saying I, i'm just god like you know i just feel like god is saying you have to you have to um understand that sometimes we be trying to like do things our way and god wants us to understand that sometimes it's a reason as to why he doesn't want something to happen it's a reason as to why he's putting a stop to something it's a reason god says always a reason as to why he does what he does anywho yes that's the message y'all baby god said if you don't go ahead and do as he asked you to and let it go you'll be fine okay um, even if, you know, like, I feel like this is, you know, even if it was like a partnership and a joint effort, or maybe you had somebody helping you with this, or you had somebody helping you with that. And you are expecting God is saying that he will make, he will pick up the slack 
Like, and, and you know, from your point of view, you may not be able to see it. But just because you can't see it don't mean it ain't going to happen. God said he going to pick up slack. He going to pick up slack in such a way that you're going to be better off than you were. God said you're going to be better off than before. This is for you are going to be better off than you were before all by yourself. You're not going backwards and you're not, you know what I'm saying? No more backwards. You're going forward. This is, it's not a backwards situation. You are going for God said you're going to be good by yourself. With God. God says, stop idolizing man. Stop idolizing man. You don't need nobody but him. And he been showing you that, but you haven't been getting it. And I feel like this is somebody God been telling you to do what he said, what he has sent you to do. What he's, you know what I'm saying? And you keep on thinking that you can't. God said you got this, and if you don't got this, that's okay. He got this. God said I got this. If you don't got this, if you don't got it, he got it. God said you will be just fine chill relax like i like chill relax i was sitting up here getting ready like i'm sitting up here you know what i'm saying getting uh, upset and i i heard god say chill i'm like what <laughs> do you know what's going on baby god said chill relax calm down relax relax everything is fine you know what i'm saying and you know once again even if it is intended for you to be at a job even if it is intended for you to be with somebody it doesn't mean that you idolize them to such an extent that you are going to accept them treating you like you just anybody treating you like you nothing treating you like you you know what i'm saying regardless of what it is because jobs do this too i've experienced it and i've walked out like, no, I've experienced it and I've went off on managers and you know what I'm saying, regardless to if it's district or whoever, you're not finna talk to me crazy and you're not finna treat me crazy. Then I don't care who you are, who you think you are, who you have made yourself to be. And I just feel like when it come down to it, even if your last resort and even if you can't even defend yourself because you so emotionally attached to the person that you cry so much even if your last resort is just to say you know what i can i can work somewhere else or i can be by myself there must be someone else out for me because i just know i just know there gotta be somebody else out here for me because i just know okay my wife would talk to me like my husband would treat me like that my you know what i'm saying i just feel like god is saying like that's what this message is supposed to be this is not exactly a message of god saying that he is going to get you but it's a message of god saying stop idolizing people and love yourself have faith in yourself be compassionate up on yourself and stop allowing people to get you to a point to where you are going into depression okay and i just feel you know what i'm saying and I don't know. I don't feel like I'm exactly going into depression, me per se. But you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to go. I'm, I'm a vessel. So you know what I'm saying? Even if I don't agree, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to say what God said. But I just feel like when it comes down to it, God is saying that he don't, um, he doesn't want his children to be in a position to where they feel trapped, you know, because a job can trap you. When you live in paycheck to paycheck, it's very easy to become trapped because you're so dependent. And it's like you can't even you can't do nothing. You can't take a vacation. You can't do this. You can't do like it's God said he don't want you to feel trapped. And, you know, a relationship can make you feel trapped, too. When you in a relationship with somebody and they want things you don't want, you will feel trapped. That's why men or even some women, but mostly men that, you know what I'm saying? They like sleeping around. They like being promiscuous. They like living a very, they uh, tend to claim that a woman is trying to force them to change and she's trying to change me and she she won't let me do what i want to do and i just want to live my life and i just want to be happy and i can't be happy with her it's not even in reality a situation where you know what i'm saying the woman is deliberately trying to force the man to be somebody else is you know i like your 
Sleeping around with multiple people is not a personality personality trait. It's not. And I just feel like, you know, when it comes down to it, if you can't be friends with somebody without busting it open or sticking, you know what I'm saying? You got a problem. And you definitely shouldn't be in a relationship. And you know what I'm saying? It's not even a situation where the person you just hopped in a relationship with is changing you. No, boo. You are trying to do something that you shouldn't. You obviously, apparently, if you can't control your urges, you can't, you have no self-control. You apparently are not called to be a husband or a wife. And that's just what it is. 25, 25, as I say that. How in the world you going to be somebody everything and you giving they everything to everybody? You everybody everything. You didn't split your soul amongst everybody. And now you sitting up here, you know what I'm saying? You want to, this person, they got, they only for you and they got to sit there and do nothing while you go around and sleep with any and everybody behind their back and they just supposed to sit there and look pretty and smile. And they, they notice that you're being mean out of nowhere and you mistreating them out of nowhere. Y'all ain't intimate no more. Y'all this going on, that going on. And they just supposed to sit there and smile and just like, come on now. God is saying like, for whoever this is for, long story short, stand up for yourself. Regardless of who it is, don't stand on business too. Don't, don't allow nobody to just treat you any kind of way. Because what a pity and what a shame for you to be stuck in a, a marriage or a, a, at a job for the rest of your life. And you miserable. And you're being bullied. And you're being harassed. And everybody picking on you. And everybody mean to you. And you're expected to give a thousand percent. While they not giving none. And you constantly being threatened with somebody leaving you. And somebody not wanting you no more. Meanwhile, the whole time you steady have all these things. These wants and needs. And, and they have just ignored it all. And you, have, you haven't threatened them like that. But they keep threatening. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like me personally hearing that over and over at, at, at a certain point in time it's just like okay this must be what you want because you're not going to keep threatening me with this if it's not what you want you it wouldn't even be an option you know what i'm saying when you really love somebody ain't no break what when you really want somebody to work for you, when you really care about somebody being your employee, you know they know they stuff, you know they on point, on time, you know, you gon' you give them incentives. You don't want them to go nowhere. You gonna give them a raise. You gonna give them all the, you know what I'm saying? The uh the side, you know, the the additives, the the benefits and all that kind of you gonna do all that. Because they're valuable to you. They mean something to you. You're not going to make them feel uncomfortable. You're not going to talk about their hair because you don't like the way it looks today. And you're not going to make fun of their skirt because uh, who wants to wear a skirt with ducks on it? Like, I just feel like you would not do something. Like, you're not going to be mean to somebody that you don't want to be hurt. You're not going to be mean to somebody that you don't want to react negatively because when you don't want somebody to do something, you do everything in your power to ensure that they don't do it. And if you want somebody to stay around you, you ain't going to be mean to them because who want to be around somebody that's mean? Who want to be around somebody that's always cussing them out? Who want to be around somebody that's always hitting them? Who want to be around somebody that's always being mean, always making them feel little, always making them feel as if it's something wrong with them? Somebody that, you know what I'm saying? Like, who wants that? And God is saying, somebody, you have been dealing with that just out of the fact of how will you make it by yourself? God said, you're going to be just fine. All right, that's the message. I feel better. That made, they got me feeling better. I don't, I don't, I don't know what God's talking about yet, but it got me feeling better. I guess I can't stay. It, it helps. It helps. But anyway, that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.